when I work with people live in person, uh, I usually get them mostly neutral, meaning they're passing all their, their tests, their range of motion tests, uh, adduction drop test, adduction of the right leg, shoulder, internal rotation, neck. Uh, most of those tests I get to go neutral, not by doing any particular techniques, but by changing the way that someone initiates their walk and what they're perceiving as they walk. And so the video I'm going to show is just an example of that. Uh, you know, after that's done, people can't figure out, wait, so what did we do that changed the tests? And the answer is I just had you walk in a different way because we all walk in a patterned way. That's what the left AIC, right BC, right TMCC pattern is really describing. Someone who is offbeat, they're spending too much time on the right side. So by having someone pay attention to different sensory inputs, by bringing conscious awareness to sensory inputs that I am using to create a change in that person's brain, or actually not really to make a change yet, but to inhibit a pattern of right dominant movement. That is what allows these tests to really change. So you'll see restrictions in range of motion, what people say, oh, this person's tight. It's not tight. The brain is not letting those limbs move because of a neurological pattern of movement being generated from the right side of the, of the individual's body. And that's just, that's the definition of the pattern for the most part. So uh, when I do this, when I have people walk and bring conscious attention to their walking and to get them to pay attention to things that I know will inhibit that right side pattern, you then see these people, their, their tests go neutral. So you're going to see that with my friend uh, who was the willing test subject. And then, so you'll see I change her walking. She goes neutral. Uh, and then I put her... <laughs> I'm not going to say I put her back into the pattern. Her brain puts her back into the pattern. I just show her how to do that. And all she does is a dance step. <laughs> it, it is a dance step, but she's kind of doing it more as a, just a, like a sideways, sideways walk. And once she over acknowledges her right side, she goes right back into the pattern. Uh, and then I get her back out of the pattern or her brain gets her back out of the pattern again by bringing conscious attention to reversing the dance step back to the left side doesn't succeed fully but then i have her rewalk again and you'll see that she goes neutral that's a mouthful so just watch I, i'm not going to narrate the video i'm just kind of i putting some captions to explain what's going on but hopefully you'll see that this is not a situation that requires stretching nor really strengthening this is a completely neurological sensory, neurological, so neurosensory uh, input behavior change. And we're just having her sense different things and her body relaxes. And that's what you're really saying. These biomechanical tests are not a true test of biomechanical movement of a joint. They are telling you whether this body is in a state of relaxation or not, or whether it's tense, which will be over on that right side. So hopefully you will enjoy and it may not make sense, but that's really how the process goes. All right, just walk normal. How are you? What, are you gonna walk with your hands on your hips? No. Okay. <laughs> what are you thinking about when you were walking? Anything? Trying not to think about it. Trying not to think about anything? All right. <laughs> what I want you to do is. Yeah, start like that though. But you know, you have to get the left arm and the right foot to, to move at the same time.
And don't look down. <laughs> All right, come back. Yeah, okay. Does that move somewhere more? Good. Come back, do the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know that your arms are swinging anymore? Yeah. Slide they down work. again. Okay. <laughs> they work. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna do a pitch out this time. And then go to the right. Yeah. One, two, three, and end with your weight on the right foot. Yeah. Sense your right heel. Yeah. And with your eyes on the right. said not turn my head, just my axe. Just your eyes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I am. Okay, lie down again. Okay. I don't know what this one is. Which way? Okay. Okay. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> <laughs> So now you're going to do a bunch of steps to the left. Okay. And I'm going to fix my foot. Well, we'll see. As we go, one, two, three. Acknowledge your left heel with your eyes. Look to the left. You don't feel that body Get your arms up. Right. Put your butt in that. <laughs> All right. Start with the feet together. One, two, three. Acknowledge your left heel. Yeah. Look through space. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. Right here. Right leg induction. Oh, that didn't really change, but so this one needs okay, so now we're gonna walk again. Let's see if we can change it. Oh wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. When you do that, you want to see the ground. Left heel. And the world passing you by on the left side. 